okay so now i want to check if the if this pro particular product is exists in the cart or not okay so for that uh, let's go to the product uh, you know product detail view so if you go to the store and the views so you have a product detail function right so inside this function uh, we got the single product uh, information here and after that let's say in cart that is equal to uh, first of all we want to check the cart item okay cart item uh, dot objects dot filter we will filter it by cart underscore underscore cart id okay so what i mean by underscore underscore is that uh, i'm i'm going to check the cart model here because the cart is a foreign key of cart item right so if i want to show you this so when you go to the uh, cart app and uh, models.py here so this cart is equal to models dot foreign key of cart right so that's why we want to access the cart first and uh, with the cart from here i want to access the cart id okay so that's why we use underscore underscore okay so that's why so where is it now here it is views okay so underscore underscore cars cart id is equal to underscore cart id uh, with the request so this is actually the the uh, the private function we created uh, that stores the session key right so uh, this this doesn't uh, come here okay like that we have to bring that okay we have to import it so here just say from uh, where is it here it is in the views right here it is cars um, cars dot i mean the carts dot uh, views import underscore cart id okay so now this is available here um, uh, here it is okay so comma uh, also filter it with the product right product equal to single product okay so th if this uh, query returns anything okay returns i mean if if this query uh, has any objects that means exits okay so then this is going to return the true okay true means we are not going to show the uh, uh, add to cart button if false then that means there is nothing that then the product is uh, not in the uh, cart all right so that's how it works so what we will do is we will first uh, uh, see if it returns false or true okay for that what we'll do is uh, let's say return um, http response uh, pass the in cart variable here and for now let's exit exit from the code okay so uh, we should bring this in from django dot http import http response okay this is this is just to check if we get the uh, true value or false so let's go to the browser and uh, refresh oh sorry the cart item is not defined yes uh, we should bring that in also um from cards dot uh, models import cart item so now let's uh, refresh okay now this is returning true because uh, this atx jeans is already inside the cart right so now let's go to another product so let me go to this uh, uh, great t-shirt and this is returning false right because 
uh, this is not inside the cart right so uh, and uh, what about this jordan basketball shoes no false and only this one is added inside the cart that's why it is true right so now what uh, we'll do is we'll go to here and uh, delete this one we don't want that and this one also we don't need okay so we have the in cart and uh, this query is working fine so la now let's uh, pass this item to this dictionary uh, save this and uh, uh, we are passing the context to the product detail dot html so now let's go to the product detail dot html okay so here we want to hide the uh, add to cart button right depending on if the product is added or not right so here uh, what we are doing here is we are checking if the product stock is less than or equal to zero then out of stock is coming else we are uh, bringing the add to cart button right so in this else block only we will make a, a if condition again and if in cart okay if in cart then uh, uh, here what we'll do is here the if there is the pro if the product is inside the cart then add it to cart okay and else uh, this button okay and this and if is of uh, this one okay so this is the one uh, if condition and this one is another if condition so so we should uh, uh, close the if here okay and the if here and if all right so now this is proper so here what we'll do is we'll just copy the same code and paste it here so this time it is added to cart and the font of some icon should be f a uh, this is check right and uh, check is for it will uh, you know it will show you the check mark that is that means added to the cart and let's say instead of the primary let's say success so that the button color will be changed okay and this we don't want to uh, you know we don't want this button to be working anymore let's just uh, keep it like that so now let's uh, uh, refresh all right so now you can see this product is already added to the cart okay so i i, I also want another pro another uh, you know uh, button here that says uh, view cart because uh, that view cart will be enabled uh, only when the product is added to the cart right so go to here and copy uh, paste it so for the view cart uh, right view cart and uh, i want this cart uh, here c also capital here the capital okay and uh, here uh, for the weave cart uh, what we will do is we will just uh, send the user to the uh, cart you know cart page and the font of some icon will be i okay so this should be fine let's uh, refresh all right so i don't want uh, this color to be success okay so what i'll do is i'll make the outline primary save this and refresh all right so now this is i think okay okay so the same way let's add another product here okay though so this is out of stock and uh, let me add this jacket add to cart 
so this is now added to the cart and if i go to the uh, product page here so now you can see added to cart and view cart all right so that's how it works thank you